Hey everyone, welcome to another intervention quest where I lose my sanity. It's a never-ending journey, and all I want to do is kick the King of Bahamut's butt. I just want to kick him in the butt, but I digress. I have these two intervention quests that I completely forget. One deals with Aiko, the other one deals with uh, Quistus and Terra. I guess I might as well start with the top one. Get these out of the way so I can continue on with the path that I've been going. Something's out there. I know, Fenrir. You can sense it, too. If it's making my horn act up like this, then it can only be a mirage with some kind of connection to my tribe. We'd better go check it out. Hmm. Is this the spot? <sighs> I can feel it. Are you the Mirage who's been calling us? What is it? You don't mean to fight us. Fenrir, get ready! Oh, cool. I didn't know Aiko's horn was real. Sure seems that way. It used to be that every the summoner was the symbolized by their horn. Huh, I didn't know that. So, Aiko must be descended from an ancient line of them. Yeah, she's also like six years old, but she she acts a lot more mature. Anyways, uh, I digress. The point is, Libra, Elfenrir, Take this! Elfenrir, uh, Dark Fenrir. Let's just go with that. It's just a large. Uh, it's an alternate form if you have a neck. Because, I mean, you might. You might have gotten Cerberus. I haven't shown that off, but I never really planned to. Not not yet. Maybe when I start completing everything. Uh, I digress. Point is, what are you weak to? Completely lost track. What is it weak to? Light. Oh my god. I don't even know if I have any light abilities. I mean, I, 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 maybe. But probably not. Let's, uh, let's fast forward this just a little bit. Let's see what we got going on here. Let me just check through my abilities real quick. Because I, I re... I redid my stacks just a little. I don't really think I have anything here that would do anything great. Uh, and I don't think this would do anything. So I, I guess for the time being I'll just attack it with all my heart. And let's see, what do you got going on your stack, Rain? I don't think you got anything. If I actually had Spire Bikey's other form, I might actually be able to start throwing out some light, and that would have been a good idea, but it doesn't look like I have anything really worthwhile. Well, in times like these, I can only sob it out bacon. Was gonna get Bismarck, but turns out I need like one SP. Bacon is so majestic. Also, he's got the counter going for him. I figured, you know, I still have guild him a lot. And might as well just go with the... Might as well just go with the typical old bacon action. I mean, it's like a dog-on-dog -dog fight. Because you know what they say, doggy dog world. And you might say, Gildam, this doesn't this seem a little cruel? And I say, nah, nah, it's not like an actual dog fight. It's a video game. It's more or less Pokemon rules. And also completely less violent in every sense of the matter. It's a video game. It's much different. It's, if it was Digimon, I might think a little bit differently, because, you know, then then the sprites, then all the data, it actually has feelings. Where that calculates in the data, I have no idea, but it's, uh, whatever. This isn't Digimon, this is World of Final Fantasy. We got mirages, and this thing tried to pose a challenge. I just saw the offense. I could use the Meteor Counter-Strike, but chances are, that's gonna 
gonna really hurt my chances of winning. I can do another tech. Well, I might as well. Don't want to kill bacon. It's too good to die. Let's see, what do I got going on here? Uh, how much health do you have? Not, like, about half your health. That, that's insane, man. I thought here I was going to be like, not, not going to happen. Alright, let me think for a second. If I was going to do this and get it out of the way a lot quicker, I, I guess I could use a couple high ethers. Cover a little bit of my... AP had to think about it for a second because it's not MP in this game. It's, it's it's a different terminology, you know. They completely mixed it up just a little bit. I, I'm I'm just gonna keep welling on you, and yeah, you're gonna keep on doing that. I mean, it's it's just another classic fight, not of any real circumstance. In fact, why not just make this simple and just fast forward, repeat, rinse and repeat. There we go. Oh, you got you got a pretty epic attack. If I actually had a knack, I'd be, I'd be like, guess what I'm using next? You got dark and everything. I mean, bad stack to use that on, but uh, guess for all intents and purposes, you get yourself a little bit of an ether going. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. And then, for my money, uh, I can't resum. Oh, I learned something today. You can't resummon your Mega Mirages, but if you bring another one, you can summon that. Which is pretty obvious, but I guess you can only summon one Mega Mirage per battle. Actually, let me rephrase that. You can't re-summon a Mega Mirage that you already used in battle. So, I mean, whatever. Point is, uh, if you have multiple Mega Mirages, you can use them, but you can only use them once. Yeah. Good job. I, I think that's how you explain what I'm trying to explain. And you know what? Gildum won the day. Gildum's got it going on. Gildum uses his Mega Slash, Gildum Slash, whatever. I win. His magic is unbelievably strong. But it's strange. There's something about him that feels so familiar. Hey, is there a reason you called out to us like that? Huh? What? Eiko, we are so proud of you. Still so young, and yet, you have carried the tribe's heavy burden with head held high. Thank you. Is that the Mirage talking? Wait, I know this voice. Echo. These are dark times, and Grimoire faces a terrible crisis. The world will soon have need of the power our tribe possesses, and the Mirages who answer our call. The mirages who answer our call? What do you mean? Are there others out there besides Fenrir? You share a connection with many mirages. You must find them. Join their power with yours. And wield it well. The future is yours. May it be bright. Uh, wait! You are not alone, Echo. The tribe will always be watching over you. Oh. Fenrir. Know who that was? That had to have been one of my ancestors' mirages. Come to think of it, Grandfather once told me... After I celebrate my 16th birthday, I would be able to form bonds with many different mirages. But now, I need to focus on the things I can accomplish in the present. After all, I've still got a long, long way to grow. Fenrir, can I count on you to be there for me? Yeah. Grimoire is in danger. And if it needs my tribe's power, the summoner's power, then I'll share it with you. Rain, Lon.
You know, it's funny. Here, I was thinking if Aiko had a, uh, had a connection with any Mirage, it would be like a Moogle, because, you know, in, in Final Fantasy IX, she had a lot of connections with Moogles. Why am I messing with that? I should go to the, the girl who doesn't know her name, you know, Tea Room Girl, whatever. Would you mind if I... Uh, you. What now? Yes, intervene. You don't know your name. Um, because, yeah, Final Fantasy Night, she had a lot of connections with Moogles, and in fact, her best friend, which was a Moogle, kind of sacrificed herself, but ended up becoming a much stronger, uh, Edelon in that game, called Maydeen. At least I think it was called Maydeen. Uh, if I got that wrong, forgive me. My knowledge is kind of going all over the place, and I figure, you know, that would be her actual Mirage of Choice... Even though uh, she did get Fenrir, it was kind of a weird circumstance, because I remember in order to get it, uh, you had to have like an accessory equipped to her, otherwise you would get a different, uh, different idol. Anyways, freaking nature, everybody. I'm losing my mind. Let's just continue onward. <laughs> I must do my part and fight. Whatever's out there... I'm going to have to face it with courage. The Mirage in these latest reports sounds particularly nasty. Cloud? Oh, right. He's not here. Squall! No, he's out on a mission too. I'll take this one. Terra? Are you ready for it? Yes. If you need my help, I can fight. Okay then. But... Be extra careful, please. Something feels off about this one. One witness said, I can't believe a freak of nature like that even exists. I'm quoting that word for word. A mirage that's too hideous to be true? I see. You can handle this, Terra. Come on. <laughs> oh, this one's a tasty morsel. I'd love to get my tentacles around her. Uh, who are you? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Ultros. This puss belongs to an octopus extraordinaire. Uh, hold on. Is this the mirage from the reports? Hey, someone has been causing trouble around here. Is it you? Oh, no! I would never! But I know the crook you're after. Oh, what a fiend. How's this? Why don't I help you out and show you the way to his lair? Huh? Really? Oh, I'd love to! <laughs> She's more than tasty. She's so deliciously naive, I can't resist. I think I might have just bagged me a winner here, folks! Hmm? What did you say? Uh, nothing worth repeating. Hey, um, about that hideous mirage, would you say it's nearby? Oh, it'll still be a ways. Listen... Could you tell me where you're taking me? <laughs> uh, why, somewhere that you and I can have plenty of fun together, of course. What? Then this whole time, you've been lying to me? You really are a nasty mirage. But this is it. You're through! <laughs> All right, you got me. I might have told a fib. But no, I'm not the nasty McNast you're hunting for, I swear. It doesn't matter. You deceive people for who knows what awful purposes. Never again. Why, you? Fine. Be that way. Didn't want to keep up the act anyway. You want to know who's been inking up a stick in this neighborhood? Ultros has! Ooh, shocker! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Tell me, does that make me a bad octopus? Sorry, so sorry! I can't believe Terra actually trusted this creep. Yep, she's much to the gullible. One day it's gonna be your undoing, I'm afraid. No, no, you've gotta believe! 
get me. I'm actually a really nice guy. An octopus guy. Actually, I'm just an octopus. What? Really? Oh, well, why didn't you tell us that sooner? Wait, what part of him looks really nice? Huh? Well, no part of him, duh. Lon, tell me he didn't trick you too. What? We have an octopus to fight. Oh, man, I've seen enough of these, uh, these, those Japanese hentais to know where this is going. So let's see. We got Ultra, Star Ultra. Uh, not a prison bull, I'm afraid. So you can't get the one from the story, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll fight it again at some point. Uh, large, large size has a bit of health. If you have fire, lightning, or light, you should be in pretty good shape. I digress. Point is, uh, I guess I will just attack it. Yeah, it does a little bit of a little bit of damage. So yeah, this is Ultros. He's from Final Fantasy VI and makes several cameos in different games. That's pretty cool. He's also a bit of a pervert, but I digress. Uh, let's see if I was gonna do anything. I guess I could try the bad breath, but I don't think that's gonna work out too well in my favor. I do have fire though. Might as well get that up. Oh. <laughs> That was quite effective. I don't think wire's gonna do much. Oh man, nah, that's not gonna do too much. I, I guess I'll just attack and I'll just rinse and repeat. Cause what else am I gonna do? And it's fine. It can't really do too much. This will be over quicker than I could say octopus. Right, wait, I guess not. Oh well, it, 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 it's not too bad of a battle, you know, I'm just gonna Ouch. keep on looking. Yeah, he's like already halfway done. Pretty typical battle, nice little cameo. Kinda like it. I think the voice actor had a lot of fun doing this part. I, I, like, I can tell, it just seems like a good part to act. Yeah, he's doing, looking pretty weak. Uh, a little bit more. Pummel him just a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Let's see. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I have an idea. Cuz, I mean, maybe if I really- Oh yes, Tsunami! That's kinda lame. Now then, if I was really gonna use a champion, I think we should bring Terra out. Cuz, you know, she- she deserves a turn in this whole entire thing. Finish off Ultros doing that. No kill like Gilbert kill, although I don't know where the snowy background came from, but I, I guess it doesn't matter. It's World of Final Fantasy. Uh, we did it, everybody. We killed Ultra, sort of. They were right. I'd have to say that Mirage really was too hideous to be true. That that was a very short ending to the whole entire saga that was this chapter. Um. Okay, well, in the next part, uh, we'll just continue down the path of the intervention quest, and it should be a jolly fun time. I'm not looking forward to it. Welcome uh, to the... But, yeah, other than that, I guess, I guess I'll just end it off here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want. Uh, dislike if you disliked it. I don't really care. Do what you do. I'm going to just pick up my memento and just end it off here. My God. Still got a lot of these things to go, even, yeah. Uh, I got like four. Uh.